it's unearthed in Kentucky's history. It's been a while, but we're back. We're in West Virginia. You can't see like in the later videos. It's all green and grown up now. Got Brian back with me today. Brought my nephew Cole and Travis and his little girl is on their way. It's been so long since we've dug, we can't wait. So, all right, I'm gonna hop off here and we're gonna start digging. So, if we find anything, we'll get right back with you later. All right, guys, we ain't been digging probably 10 minutes. Cole's first one on the board. Check this out. That's his first arrowhead ever, a little triangle. Carter Cave, man, when that thing's washed up, it's gonna be translucent. All right, guys, hopefully we'll get back with another one later. All right, we're back. I guess today I'm just gonna make it all a cold day. He's literally on the board again. It's broke, but it's another point. Crude little failure, but hey, it's a point. Artifact safe from the ground. We'll take that. All right, guys. Later. All right, guys. We're back. Travis and his little girl made it. Brian, he's on the board now with a whole one. Over here. Check this out. Probably the. Ugliest little point I've ever seen, but hey, it's a point. It's an artifact safe from the ground. We'll take that. Hey guys, we're hoping to find a lot more. We're all just kind of taking a little break right now, but we'll get back with you if we find something later. All right, we're back. We're having a slow day today, but we're, we're paying off. Brian's got one right here. Little little tiny little triangle Carter K Flint pretty little thing all right guys hopefully we'll get back with you another later all right guys I believe we're gonna wrap it up for the day we've got didn't find as much pottery as we did last time Flint and Two deer antler tips, nice shells, bone awls, and bone. And we got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten arrowheads today. Three whole and the rest broke. Travis and Grace and Brian's over there finishing up and we're tired. All right, guys, I'll get back with you on the cleanup later. All right, guys, this is Unearthing Kentucky's History. Back with the cleanup from yesterday's dig. We, we, had a, we had a pretty long dig. We dug six hours, pretty slow. I mean, we didn't find as much as we usually do, but you'll have them days. Here's a little pile of flint we found. There's a real pretty piece right here. And not much bones. Brian found this tiny little bone all. I believe it's, it's been broke, but you can see where they've worked it right here. It's been broke down this way and got the end broke off. Pottery like always, but not much. Muscle shell. And now I want, I want y'all to leave this in the comments if you think you know what this is. This was like three foot deep. Let's see if I can get it some better light. Here we go. That was three foot deep. I know it's a tooth, but off of what? I don't know. Pretty sharp though. And some deer antler tips. I found that one. Brian found this big piece. And all my pieces that I put in a frame, 
always label them when we found them. I like keeping track of my stuff. And Brian found that one. Here's this little ugly one that Brian found. You look at that thing. He's a fat little point. And there's a broken one Brian found. I finally got on the board and found that one. It broke. My nephew Cole found that one. Brian found that little broken. I think it's a tool. And then my nephew Cole found this one. It's almost. It almost looks like that last one I found. Looks like they're trying to put a side notch in the side there, but it's got this corner nicked off. And Brian found this little tiny little triangle. Look at that thing, how tiny it is. And then my nephew Cole was the first one on the board. Found this little triangle. Man, pretty little Carter K point. You can hold it up to the light and it's translucent. You can see around the edges, through the edges and stuff. But, it's, it felt good to get out and dig. We ain't dug in probably about a month and a half. For all this worrying about the COVID-19's been going around and we finally got to get out and do a dig. And I believe we're gonna try to plan another one for this week coming up probably Friday or Saturday and guys like always thank you for subscribing please don't forget to share like comment comment on what you think that tooth is what do you think that come out of I don't know if it was a dog or like a coat or something back then or maybe like a I don't know some kind of muskrat or animal they've killed guys hopefully we'll be able to get out next week bring you another dig it's all right guys later